Back in the year 2000, I worked with Deacon Mike to uh, try to develop a housing program to build homes for the needy in, in Juarez. My background was engineering and some experience, I coupled that with some experience I had with Habitat for Humanity in the United States. Uh, poor people in, uh, in Juarez live in houses made out of packing crates and cardboard. And the need I saw was to give them some reasonable housing in the form of a concrete structure with a good roof and some windows. And about the size of a two-car garage here in the country would be a beautiful house for some of those people down there. In Juarez, everybody thinks it's just hot there, but we lived there for the year. And uh, December, January, and February, it got down to like 26 degrees. Now there's no central heat. If you're in a, a pallet and cardboard house, you're pretty doggone cold. But the houses we build give them two doors and two windows. And so that's light and that's warmth and that's beauty and a, a place to have a sense of pride. The first time I went with my family to Juarez, Mexico to build a home, the living conditions in regards to the woman and her three children that were, we were building for, their home was just the bed itself. That was it. They had chairs outside, their eating quarters were outside, yet they were still very clean and they were very, very polite. Um, at the end of the build, she was crying. We were crying. Her home was completely done, and we had done it. I mean, it wasn't the perfect home, but it was her home. My life is very different after having received my house because we have windows, we have a door. Previously, we didn't have a window. We had a piece of cement. Before, we had of earth. Yo conseguía pedazos de alfombra para que no se aterraran tanto mis hijas. Lo primero que, que dije fue gracias a Dios y a las manos americanas que me ayudaron. Yo ya podía salir a, a trabajar con más, más confianza, dejando a mis hijas encerradas y más seguras. De, la, de entonces a la fecha se ha ayudado a 286 familias y ha impactado mucho a esas familias. Les ha ayudado muchísimo el que hayan tenido una vivienda digna, porque ahorita ya tienen su vivienda y viven en una situación muy diferente a la como, a como ellos vivían antes. Es una gente que vive en extrema pobreza. Por ellas mismas nunca podrían hacer una casa. Entonces es necesario que podamos apoyarlas, porque o construir una casa o comen. No pueden hacer las dos cosas a la vez. Ha cambiado mucho. Eh, se pueden ver muchas casas hechas por nosotros, pero en específico las familias. Eh, si no les hubiéramos podido ayudar nosotros, yo creo que ellos vivieran todavía en la miseria. You know, you give them a safe place and so the kids can do better in school, all of those things, if they have a home to be in. Education is the key to their success. And if they were living in the squalor conditions, they weren't equipped to take, handle that that well. A few years after you've built the house, you get to see the kids and they're going to school and they're all dressed nice and clean and they're all smiling and they're enjoying themselves. And then you can hear about, if you've been in a program long enough, you see that five, seven, eight years back, people you helped have blossomed because they've gone on to school, and they've learned to trade. You can see that it's gonna change their lives. And that leaves a mark on you in terms of encouraging you to want to be involved in the program. And it's a tremendous bonding experience with people that go down to build a home. It, you come back as a team realizing that you found people that needed help and you did in turn help them.